So my next period, which is in a week, maybe, week and a half, I have to call and schedule an MRI to check to see if my implants are leaking. Oh, my God. Do you think I should just say, screw it, and go in and have them removed or replaced? Um, I just can't imagine life without my implants. Is that terrible? Just a little flapjacks jogging around. <laughs> slap, slap, slap. <laughs> I mean, those are baby makers, babe. You gotta, you just gotta go with it. I don't but know. What's you, your thoughts? I don't know if you remember, but I told you not to get the implants. I know you remember me saying that. But now you have them. Now you love them. And now you, you know. I'm just worried that that's what's making me sick. You're not sick. Okay, that's what's making me feel like trash all day. I think it's the energy drinks and the caffeine and the lack of exercise. You did you did exercise today. You've been doing a lot more than me. It's. I think my problem right now is like my thyroid is what we're looking into because it's not my hormones. My hormones are really good. Um, so we're looking at possible thyroid issues. Um, but the one doctor, the two doctors I saw literally said, it's your implants, get them removed. I'm for whatever makes you feel better. Like, I don't care. Like, should I just go in and have them taken out and see if I feel better? Like my hair is literally not growing anymore. It's just breaking away. Okay. I'm going to ask you a serious question. We need to have. I'm not saying you're old. At all. <sighs> you already told me if I get my hair cut, I'm an old lady. No, no, no. I'm saying. Just call me Karen. How many old ladies do you see with long hair? Quite a few. <laughs> BS. Every old lady has short hair and that keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And they have little poofs on top by the time they're they're in their last years. Because they have, don't have to deal with it. It's a no, lot to have to do every day. it's because it stops growing. Like when you're young and you cut your hair, bam, it grows back. Okay, overnight. how old am I? You think I? I'm what just if, saying. What if that I it came back with down <laughs> with a little perm today? <laughs> oh, you were sending me haircuts. I'm like, oh my god, stop! I should have came back with a wig that was like an old lady perm. Like, I'm just okay, saying I'm it. I'm just saying it slows down with age. Like you're young, you cut your hair, bam, it grows back fast. Yeah. Right. And then over time, it slowly grows out. And because the your, point health is, your health is deteriorating. You have health issues as you get older. So I'm saying the shorter you cut it now, the longer it's going to take to grow out or not grow out at all. You've hit the point of no return. From here, it's just shorter. It's not even I that short. Yeah, because of I me. I wanted to get more because cut off. Because of me. I wanted to get more cut off. I said, please don't cut your hair. You have a ha- 